Hi, in chapter 3, we are going to learn how to split one class to two tables. And let us create a class called, like, say, customer. In this class customer, I am going to have, like, you know, some data like customer ID, customer name, customer address, credit score, and reward points. Now I'm going to generate the getters and setters for this particular data. So generate getters and setters and then select all and then click OK. Good. Now to create a table out of this class, we already know how to do that. All you have to do is go on top of the class and say at entity control space Java X dot persistence. Now to make this particular column a primary key, we have to go and say ID java x dot persistence to make it auto generate the values we have to give the annotation at control space generated value and i'm not really worried about the strategy and all those things let's leave it at that now if i'm going to go test this particular class as it is it is going to create just one table but no i want to create two tables out of one class and i want to like you know have it maintain the referential integrity so how do I create two tables out of one class? First and foremost, we have to decide, okay, what are the table names going to be? The first table name, let me keep it as customer and let me create another table called um, customer detail and maintain a one-to-one -one referential integrity. So let's go on top of this class customer and then give like the table annotation. and give a name like say customer and then the other table that I want is like you know customer details so let us go give another annotation called SEC control space secondary table and now let us give a name for the secondary table like say customer detail now now that I have decided, okay, I'm going to have two tables out of this one class that is customer and customer detail. Now I have to decide which are the columns that go in this table customer and which are the uh, columns that go in this customer detail, the secondary table. Now I have decided in this particular class, I want the ID and name to go into this table customer and the rest of the other three data to go in the customer detail table. Okay. Now go to those particular getter columns like customer address, credit score and reward points and here on top of the getter methods all you have to do is annotate it with column and in this column annotation give a property called table equal to and then give the name of the secondary table that is the customer detail should be the name of the secondary table give that particular detail. Now you can copy this particular annotation and paste it on all the columns that you want to go to the secondary table control V and then you can come here and paste it right here too so so what I'm saying is in this particular class called customer all the columns should go to the customer table except the columns that are annotated with like you know column annotation and table customer detail those should go to the secondary table with the name customer detail so let's go test this particular customer class. So right click on this package and let's create a new class called test customer. Public static void main, click finish. And this particular test customer, we need to have like, you know, uh, all those particular code that we had in the previous test employee. So let me just go copy like, you know, some of the uh, code like annotation configuration and loading the configuration file and stuff like that so let me copy this particular till here the schema export and stuff like that and paste it i will need to recreate the tables so let's save it and now you have to understand like you can import the schema export and here like i want to add the customer class i want to add the customer class so I'm going to add customer, customer.class because that's going to be my annotated class. 
and let's add some data to this customer so to add data to the customer let us create a customer object now I have created a customer object called Alex I have set the customer name and I have set the customer address credit score and reward points and stuff like that I haven't set the customer ID because it's going to be auto generated and now to save this particular object if you remember we need to have the session factory session and then like we have to like you know relate the session so that's what I'm doing like now I have the session factory session and begin transaction all those things and this is a transient object now we have to associate the session with this particular object so I will say session dot save and then I will pass this Alex object and then I'll have to commit the transaction commit to the transaction good now let us run this particular test class and see how the results come out right click run as Java application now you can see that it has dropped everything and it has like created the table right here on the log files in the console now go back to the database let us refresh the schema and here if you notice see it has created like two tables customer and customer detail so easy to create two tables out of a class and if you go to the customer the customer has the customer ID and customer name it auto generated this value one and if you go to the customer detail the customer detail will have the credit score customer address and reward points and it has the customer ID so it also maintains a referential integrity we don't have to worry about like maintaining referential integrity hibernate takes care of like maintaining the uh, referential integrity between these two tables so once again to have a quick look all you have to do is to split one class into two tables make this class an entity class and then give an annotation called table and give a name for this particular table and then like give another annotation called secondary table and give a name for the secondary table and go to the getter methods of the uh, columns that you want to go in the secondary table just annotate them with like at column table and at column give the same table name which you gave for the secondary table